Hey guys, Bleaker here, and I figured we'd start off this episode with a quick recap of our adventures. Holy frame rate drop, Batman. Alright, so we're about... here. Find and complete the Mushroom Dungeon. Done. Now we gotta look for this Lake of Fire. So to do that... Holy frame rates, what is going on here? There we go, we're... God, God. Computer's being really stupid today. Okay, so... Dr. Cooper's house. Hello, Dr. Cooper. Hello, I'm Dr. Cooper. Check the fountain in the center court. Swim with the water fountain and find a chest with a key. Use the key in the chest. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I have to get in here somehow, I think. How do I get in here? Hello, I'm Dr. Cooper. Hi, Dr. Cooper. Sheldon Cooper? Yes. Check the fountain in the in the center court. Swim up the water fountain and find a chest with a key. Use the key in the chest to open another chest with a key. Use the key in this chest to open up the chest with a key. Well, this is the fountain. Oh, I am very blind. Look at that. Pick it up. Perfect. Most excellent. So, it's the fountain ch chest key. I'm done with that. So now I've got chest and in key. So I gotta head to the inn now? gold. Okay. Now what? Do I have to make a potion of fire resistance? Is that what's next? You know what? Mick told me we're to head to the field tower. There should be something there now. I have this... I have this key right here, the field's tower key. Okay, oh, I know where we have to go now. Okay, it's not the field's tower, it's the field's... I'll explain them all. But in other news, I finally got around to organizing all of this stuff here. All the keys that I'm done with and everything go in here. All the useless armor and crap I've accumulated goes there. It's been pretty productive, actually. So I've got a whole... Now I actually have a system of organization for all this crap. Sorry, Mick, it is kind of... A lot of it's crap. But anyways... Um, Fields Tower should be... Oh, good God, did I pass it? That's odd. I could have swore it was around here. Swamp and wetlands. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. There it is. Oh, wow. A little performance issue there. Okay, now I must run very fast and very furiously, because I think I know where I'm going now. There's a chest over here that I remember from a previous... Very, very previous episode. I mean, like, really, really previous. Like, we're talking... One of the first couple episodes I did. It's not this right here, it's that right there. That chest over there. Excuse me a second, detour. <laughs> Does that make me a bad person? Probably. All right, let's see what we got here. This should be the chest that I wasn't able to open earlier. Yes, so if I do this... Okay. And... Made for a king. Holy crap! Okay. A valuable scepter with pure gold worth a king's ransom. Good god.
That golden step you just got from the chest was made for a king only. Okay. Um. Any other information I should know? Goodness gracious, I hate these things. Swamp dungeon and desolate. Okay, that's swamp. Wow, my ping is really going today. Good God. Might be in need of a software update or 20 of them. It's better with the frame rate, guys. It usually clears itself out pretty nicely. There we go. Ooh, I didn't even notice these before. So now what? Um... Okay, so I've gotten this chest now. So now what do I do? Um, whatever, let's look for this lake of fire. So on the quick rundown, I have to locate the swamp dungeon, ice wind. Look for a lake of fire. Okay. The only lake of fire that I can think of? Oh, let me think here. Lake of fire, lake of fire. I gotta think here. So the only thing that I can think of is that volcano over there. And with all this gold, I'm gonna assume the lake of fire is gonna be just the frickin' thing of lava. Let's head over this way. And I really don't know, actually. Uh, nothing has come up yet on the map. Uh, Mick told me, I, th I think Mick told me I need to, I had to go to the doctor, the good doctor's house, but other than that, I didn't really get any instructions on where this thing was. So the closest area to this thing should be, there it is over there. Hmm, okay. So the closest I think I can get to this area is over here. But I've been wrong before. Interestingly enough, how do you get up there? A lake of fire. That's the only volcano. Bleaker 48, there's a special potion in Greentown Potion Shop which lets you walk on fire. Oh, wait a second. These all like little reminders and stuff? Are these directed specifically at me? That's gotta be the case there. So I think I'm definitely heading in the right direction, but I need to head back to Greentown. So I will catch back up with you guys when I get closer to there. All right guys, so this guy right here, special potions trader, give him two of those and you get two potions of fire resistance for three minutes. Now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. So I'm gonna do an aerial fly over where I think I need to go. Now as far as where I'm supposed to be, I think, I don't know why I'm pointing, you guys can't see it. I think it's gonna be over here by where all this lava is, but I don't know 100% for sure. I'm hoping that's going to be it, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I won't know until I actually start... This doesn't really look like a lake of fire, though. Alright, so when I came over here... When I came over here, that's when it said I needed that potion, but after that I have no clue where I'm supposed to be. I'm not even 100% sure they're really... Well, I know there is a lake of fire. I know that for a fact, but I'm not sure where, so... I'm gonna adventure around for a little bit, see if I can't track this thing down. It looks like that's a dead end here. All these look like dead ends over here, so I'm not sure if I have to head over here or not. It's the only lava I can think of. Huh. I feel like this is kind of cheating. 
I'll keep up the aerial view, see if I can't find it eventually, but I'll come back when I have a bit better of an idea where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, hang on, let me move my mic here. Now that I'm finally back on the right track here, after a brief, quick message with Mick, I believe a lake of fire. See over here by this silly village over here where there are, uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, hang on, let's just quick throw some stuff in here that I'm not going to need. Fire resistance, I'm not going to need this anymore. Not going to need you, not going to need you so much. Alrighty, this is where I need to be the whole time, just off to the side. The reason why I could not find a lake of fire is as I suspected, but didn't really say it, it's underground. Oh, oh, look at that. Probably not going to help me too much, but I think I'm going to want this as well. Oh god, why? Mick, this is evil, even for you. But I respect it. So this is the Lake of Fire. So I've got about a lot of a little bit of time on this thing. I don't think this is gonna help me at all, so I don't know why I'm wasting time, but Yeah, this is going to be really slow going, but hey, on the bright side, my FPS issue kind of fixed itself. I'm now hovering at around 100 frames per second. I, let me rephrase that. I'm actually hovering and recording at 100 frames per second. That's kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool. Oh, that went well. Diamond shard and a... Oh. New area. Use the button to reach the castle, head back to the desert. You should also have five shards now. This is Rowan again. Sorry I had to move the shard here. Well, you found that anyways, and you have passed all the tests. The sword awaits in the Fortress of Doom. With the six shards together, the sword will be yours. So now, not only will I have the Master's armor and stuff, but I will also have the Diamond Sword, which I believe is the whole point of this entire quest, was to get this. So that's half the quest. Then, as you remember from the rundown, I have a little bit of stuff to do with that. While I'm here, might as well sort through the rest of my crap. So this is five shards now. Very good. Mick has not lied to me yet. I'm not going to need that. Anytime soon, a potion of fire resistance? Um, might as well just keep that in there. I'm definitely going to need this. Alrighty, let's keep going. Alrighty, so a quick recap on this. Ah, there we go. So the quick recap on this, if you remember from the story, we have to get all these six shards, and then we have to fight that evil villain guy who we also ironically fought in the last, who we fought in the last thing. So he's like the general or the main villain of here, and I received quite a few views and comments on this thing. Like, this series is actually becoming one of my more successful ones. Oh, probably more successful than uh, the Shadows of Mysteri- or the Towers of Mysteria Island. My apologies, I misspoke there. This series is just, like, blowing up. So this is where I need to be. Oh, God. Oh, cool. That's actually kind of a cool little thing. Nice job, Mick. I like that. You can pat yourself on the back for that one. Oh, God. Mick! Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Hey, guys. Hello. You gonna... Are we gonna be able to do this a civilized way? I don't think so. <sighs> I hate things. I'm pretty sure fire damage ignores armor. I'm pretty sure. I'm, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure... It does, in fact, ignore armor. I'm... I'm willing to... I think so. Somebody comment on that one. I'm pretty sure it ignores armor and stuff. So this is going to be like a maze trying to get back here, I, I bet. Okay, so that's a dead end. That's kind of odd. So I got to do something here with this golden scepter. According to Mick, it gets placed at the... 
edge of a statue. I didn't really read too far into his message because I didn't want to spoil too much because I'd like to figure out as much of this as I can, but if I honestly get stuck, I want to, like, try and speed the process along because I don't want to be holding up the series because I got a little lost. Okay. Good God. He's not making this easy on me, is he? Oh, hey, look at that. Huh? Okay, um... One of these ways just doesn't belong here. Um... What? Oh, this looks promising. Or did I just come this way? Oh, uh, every little thing she does is mad. Damn. He's not making this easy on me, is he? Okay, so that eliminates those two bottom ones. I know those are dead ends. So there looks like there's stuff up here, but I don't think I can access it. Which makes me wonder. Okay, so these two are eliminated. Let's try this way next. We'll just kind of eliminate from the bottom. Okay, so that way and that way are eliminated. We're just going to kind of eliminate from left to right here. Or from right to left, I guess. Okay, that eliminates that way. So I'm pretty sure I went in through here already. Yep, that eliminates that. Good God, I feel like I'm just... I'm just going in a huge circle again, aren't I? Huh. Oh wait, is that... How do I get up there? I didn't notice that way in there before. Um, how did I get up there? That wasn't it. Okay, this is... <laughs> half this episode is just gonna me trying to figure out which way is up. None of these ways are really up. This way's a little up. Not too much up. A little more up, maybe? Oh, there we go. There's up. So I, if I go up this way... Oh, come on. So if I head up here, hopefully I'm heading the right way. Aha! I did it! Took me long enough. That was probably agonizingly painful to watch. Okay, a button! Approach the king. He has something to say. Guard, guard. Captain. I don't think that's mixed face. Hello, your highness. I knew you would come. It had been your destiny. That's why I s you started on this journey. Little did you know that by the time you were here in the bloodline, you're the great hero. Wait, what? But you are the bloodline to the great hero. Okay, now place something truly worthy of my feet below and you will take the treasure from the chest below. The Fortress of Doom is a formidable place. I have heard of some armor that protects you from the fire there. Always oh, careful. The golden scepter was placed correctly. Now climb the ladder that just appeared. Okay, so I'm going to get some armor and stuff now? Is that what they're implying with all that. I knew I was heading to the end, and or not the end, the nether. Open the way. 
kind of odd. Um, in the way, I gotta find a jukebox. I'm gonna progress just a little bit more here. Oh wow. I want to find where I'm going here. So there's going to be chests below. Oh! The chef! Why is the chef down here? Looks like everybody's down here. Cleaner too. The old quarters. Interesting. What's in this old quarters? The beds! This is kind of odd. Keep healing in one of these. Very good. Playing music is always... Open. Yes. The old quarters? More old quarters. Cool. So I can bed here. I can eat there. Storage room. Cool. Oh wow. Some good stuff in here. This might take a moment or two to raid out completely, but it'll definitely be worth raiding. Okay, so I play this in here then. Another level for you to teleport home. Okay. This is Bleaker. Step into the portal and go to the Nether Fortress. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I was supposed to get some armor or something. Now place something that is worthy at my feet, and you will take the treasure from the chest below. The Fortress of Doom is a formidable place. I have heard of some armor that protects you from fire there. Oh, there. Anyways, be careful and come back. Alright, guys. Here we go.